Exciting things here. We've got some new designer face masks from uh, JBL. Check out that. Bam! <laughs> Not too many of those around. Anyway, the main thing about this is we want to see what's in these boxes, Darren. Okay, let's have a look. Open, open, open. open. It's not ADA in there this time, unfortunately. Uh, but it should be soon, guys, about two weeks. <laughs> yeah, two weeks. <laughs> okay, yes, there's some big pieces there. Dark dragon yeah. So, yeah, this is the dark dragon. It's the first time we're seeing it. Hey. Let's see that. To the other side. Oh, there, that's a better side. Eh? Okay, let's check one more out. Yeah? Oh, these are big ones. Eh? Is it heavy? Yeah, yeah heavy. Heavy, heavy. 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 But same as normal dragon. Yeah. No, 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 no. And the other side. Okay, great. Nice. Alright, guys, as you can see, we got quite a few. Quite a few boxes there, and we also got in a whole lot of uh, three bags here of driftwood, three or four bags, mm -hmm. which is quite a few, few there. So, um, you know, should look good. So, Bear's just spraying it a bit here so you can see the color. Obviously, once it's in water, it looks a little bit different, you know? Aha! Check the texture coming out. Like Jesus, it's quite different, eh? It looks a lot different once it's wet. Wow. Yeah, all Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. And then obviously you'll have some aquarium lighting on there. Check the lighting. Yeah. Out. Samsung aquarium lighting. Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> RGB aqua sky. RGB. Shield, <laughs> shield, shield, shield. Yellow comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, wonderful. All right, there you have it. Awesome. Well, it's a lot better now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Another unboxing video because it seems all we do nowadays is unboxing videos, but it is quite exciting. So um, we've got another box from Singapore, but uh, I know we've been getting a lot from Singapore lately. But um, you know, the whole COVID story, Singapore seems to be quite operational. But from the next week, we'll get quite a bit of Indonesian stock back in from two suppliers. So uh, let's see how this one goes. Eight bags again. Oh yeah, honey garamis. So these guys get nice bright yellow color. Um, very peaceful. Now, I think as a lot of you know, I'm not a big garami fan. They obviously have beautiful coloration in there. But for the size tanks we keep in, they're quite aggressive. So I don't really keep garamis because it's just going to cause trouble for you guys. But uh, these are the oaks, jeez man, these are magic. Bright yellow coloration, friendly, stay small, exactly what you want. Next one. Okay, so we've got here nerite. Horn nerite, bicolor nerite. Uh, we did have these recently, they just made so well. We've got, we've got none left in the tank, so, um, you know, we've, we've got another one, another bag. Um, these oaks, Smash algae, right? Black beard algae, any algae, hair algae. These ones stay quite nice and small, uh, so they can get into more difficult spots compared to your zebra nerites and uh, red spotted nerites. You know, they get quite a bit bigger. So these oaks get the job done. And this last batch, I mean, we didn't lose any. So they seem to travel a lot better when they're smaller. Next. Uh, what is this? Oh, Lampi Lamp yeah. Lamp Achilles. Um, I think this is one of our staples now. We order it whenever they're on the list. Um, luminous blue eye. Quite a hardy little fish. Uh, I mean, they're quite plain, but the, the eye is so blue, you know, that it, it stands out. Yeah, half yeah. peaks, half peaks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you about those. We've had those enough time for everybody to know. Okay. Amanas. 
So we'll have, we've got quite a few manas in stock again. I don't know if we can ever have enough, but we've got quite a number. Emmetets, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, so nice cooling fish, nano fish, so small, nice orange coloration to it, and they're quite hardy. And this is what? Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah. Oh, they look pretty good, eh? Yeah. It's a long way from Singapore. <laughs> All right. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so last week we got Kohaku guppies, which we've really struggled to get. Um, these are now tuxedo Kohaku guppies, alright? And there should be pairs, a bit older than in pairs. So I hope there's pairs. Um, so the difference between the normal Kohakus and the, uh, um, the uh, um, tuxedos. The tuxedos, they get the same coloration, the bright orange on the tail, the bright orange on the face, but the body is black instead of being that see-through uh, color. So they, they should go down quite well. Um, just for, I should explain for a lot of people, um, we've got like normal 25 rand standard guppies, but you know, there's a lot of people that are into the high-end guppies. Unfortunately, they do cost a bit, but, I mean, when you see the results, it's, it's really well worth, well worth it. And, uh, you know, I must say quite a few of these, or oh, those, ended up in my home, my private home table. There's your mouth. No, these are the mouth, but I made it. So guys, this is the real value in these guppies, is to try and get the females. That's the big struggle for us. Um, the, the males we can get, and if we buy males, they come in like quite cheap. But the only way for us to get females is to buy them in pairs. And then because obviously you can breed them, uh, you know, the, the breeders, they, they charge us. <laughs> Alright, is that about it? Yeah, Alright. So these have just come in today. Um, we'll, you know, we have to quarantine them, what's today, Thursday. There's a possibility some of these might be ready to go by the weekend, but very likely it'll only be mid to end of next week, these oats will be ready to go. So we'll see you then. It's a little bonus clip here, we've got some super red and citrus. You can't see the colour coming out too much there. But there's some babies in here. Here's one little guy that we spotted right at the front. You can see he's still sort of absorbing that uh, yolk sack. Looking great. Here's the previous uh, generation there. You can see they're growing up quite nicely now. There's an ember, so they're a little bit bigger than an ember tit. Another few here. Yeah. Looking good. We're busy extracting the babies here. Oh. Those super reds. There's the female. There's the cave. The male's still in the cave in Atoll's hand there. And then check ya, check ya. There's all those little yellow oaks. Those are the babies there. We're going to move them to another tank now because sometimes the father doesn't always like the children hanging around too much. <laughs> it's a pretty good haul. There's the babies in the new tank here. Quite a few. Very young, very, very young. 